All right, here we go. This is something I hear quite often. The Steel FS111RX or the Steel FS111R. Which one is right for me? So today we're going to break it down. We're going to go over the differences between these two machines. First things first, they run the same engine. 1.4 horsepower, 1.4 horsepower. But why would steel run two machines with the same engine, the same handle, the same trimmer head? Here's where it comes in. The 111 RX is a lightweight trimmer. This weighs 1.1 pounds. That's pretty significant. 1.1 pounds less than the FS 111R. Well, then why wouldn't I just buy the FS 111 RX? I like the reduction in weight. I don't need a heavy machine. Well, what are you using it for? Are you just trimming around your yard? Are you trimming out there every week? Or do you occasionally need to get out with a brush knife, a brush blade? This is one of several options on a brush cutter blade, but let's just say you want to get out there with a brush knife. Well, if you're looking to do that, the FS111RX is not the right machine for you. Sorry, guys, it's not made for it. So we'll look at today why. Why is it not made for it? We're going to start right here on the gearbox. This gearbox on the 111, I've switched sides, okay, they were over here. This gearbox on the FS111RX is not made to accept a blade for several reasons, but the biggest reason is, is because running down the middle of this drive tube is a hollow drive shaft as compared to a solid steel drive shaft. So let's take it apart a little bit and let's take a peek at them and see what the differences are. We'll start simply by pulling off the heads on each of them. We like to use this little straight pin here, and that's going to drop right in the gearbox. And then it's going to be a reverse thread, okay? Lefty tidy, righty loosey. We'll spin off the head. They both run the AutoCut 25-2 bump head. So there, it's off of the FS111R. Now let's pop it off of the RX here a minute. All right, so let's, let's take a look at this. This is called the thrust plate. And this is what uh, uh, acts as a bearing of sorts between the head and the gearbox. On the FS111R, it's significantly larger, stronger, more durable, made to accept a blade. On the RX, it is a very lightweight. It creates its bearing that it needs to do. It creates kind of a and allowing the head to spin without locking onto the gearbox. So FLF, F, so FS111RX and 111R, weight difference here. Small, but remember we're trying to drop a pound, so how are we gonna do that without changing the engine? Let's pull off the gearbox. We're gonna notice on the gearbox, slightly different configuration. There's not the one screw on the top, and then four bolts on the bottom or four screws on the bottom holding the deflector or guard on. It's two screws holding the gear case on as well as holding the deflector or guard on. On the FS111R, I take one screw loose on the top. I can slide the whole gearbox off. So here's your R gearbox. Here's your RX gearbox. Slightly different shape to the deflector, to the guard here. Lighter weight. This uses a four-bearing gearbox, just as this does. This uses the same pinion set, gear pinion set, between the two of them. But they do use a different bearing. This uses a slightly smaller bearing. And again, I think that's just in an effort to reduce the weight. Uh, and also, it's not needed because they know they're never going to be running a blade on it. So you can see... There's your gearbox differences. And I would say probably about half the weight. I should get a scale. I should invest in a scale. That'd be really handy. Now let's pull out the drive shafts a minute. They're going to look similar, but actually by part number, they are different. And I can feel the weight difference. This thing is hollow. Okay, this is the 111RX. See if we can do this without getting all greasy. Pull that drive shaft all the way out. It's 
So what difference is it going to make whether I have a solid drive shaft or a hollow drive shaft? Well, lighter with the hollow, actually a little bit faster acceleration, but a hollow drive shaft coupled with a blade, right, is not going to do very well together. You hit something hard and you're going to twist, spin, or break this hollow drive shaft. But if you're running a line head where the line actually gives flexes when you hit something solid, it's not going to make any difference in the world. So again, I would say about half the weight between the hollow one and the solid one. Same dimensions, right? Same length, same square drive shaft, or same square ends. Boy, this is going to be a mess. Greasy, nasty mess. And then there's one other difference that we're going to look at. And it's small. Again, we're trying to save ounces here, right? We're trying to drop this down to reduce as much weight as possible. And that last difference comes in this handle right here. You notice this is a smaller handle. Okay, it's not rubber coated because we're not going to generally have as much vibration out of this machine because we're trying to save ounces, because we're trying to save weight. So that slightly different handle design, again, reduces some weight. There goes my drive shafts. Nice. Perfect. Let me wipe my hands off. There's something I really like about this handle on the FS111RX. It's very, I don't know, just the control of it. The way you can twist from left to right. So if you do want to flip and use it reverse edge uh, to do along your flower bed, your soft edges. Not quite as easy to do on the other loop handle, but it's a difference. So there you go. The FS111 RX, 1.4 horsepower, 11 pounds, with uh, the AutoCut 25 2. The FS111 R, 1.4 horsepower, 12.1 pounds, with the AutoCut 25 2. Which one's right for you? Are you out there weekly trimming? Or do you have five acres and you need to go cut some brush? Durability wise, if you put them into the right application, they will both do the job for you. Hey, for a full line of steel outdoor power equipment, stop by your local steel dealer. If you're in our area, obviously it's got to be Carl's Mower and Saw. But if it's around the country, around the world, find your local independent steel outdoor. Hey, this is Josh from Carl's Mower and Saw. Thanks for watching our videos. We're proud of the fact that we've been serving you with the best in outdoor power equipment since 1990. We're glad that you had an opportunity to sit down, watch our videos, learn something about an exciting new product that we have, something that interests you for your property, or really how to use your equipment to the best of its ability. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube. We're excited to share more information with you. See you soon.